Hi, this is Chris from Code Review Videos, and in this video, I want to look at loops or how to use loops with uh, various different tasks that we can do. So the syntax is pretty much as is shown on the screen at the moment. We use the item there, and then with items. So the item goes in inside double like handlebars, um, and then we just pass in the items that we want. And I showed this method in video ten which was where we was uh, setting up our git deploy. And I didn't want to just do a sudo apt get install git because, you know, we're trying to move towards managing our infrastructure with Ansible. And that's one extra task that would potentially slip by if we was to rebuild the server in the future. So instead, we did it the right way, the Ansible way, and we put this in. And we only have one thing in here, but obviously it's very straightforward to install other things as well. We just keep adding them to the list. Um, you never know. Uh, I, I, you never really know what to put in here when you're first starting out, unless you give it a bit of thought. But just like just guessing at what you might need on a on a common server, I suppose. And um, yeah. So I mean that that's that's one thing that we can do. And then perhaps we might add in another task where we say create. I mean this is common. These are the common tasks that we want on all our servers. So we might say that we want to create home directory uh, folder structure, something like that. And then in here, we could have a file. I and mean, this, I don't really like this. This is one of the, the things that um, it kind of doesn't sit well with me. It should be surely directory, but um, whatever. So we put in username, using a variable there. So just starting to combine the things that we already know about. And again, we're going to do the item there. We can say for the file, uh, we want to say that it's a state of uh, directory. And we can say that the owner is equal to our username. And we're just going to, again, pass that in as a, a variable. The group, again, will be uh, the username. It's just standard sort of Linux stuff. And then the mode oops, for that would be 0700. And then we can also do with items here. So that's just looping back to there. And then in here, we can pass in the item. So this would be the directories inside our home directory that we want to create. So we, we might have like a uh, autocomplete there for some reason. Source directory, maybe we'd have like a backups directory that we want, or a, I don't know, bin directory or a temp directory, anything really. And that becomes our. Um, so we need to pass in the variable. Uh, let's just do that at the top. Let's go with the username of Chris, I think. User underscore name. Now, as this is a video on doing just loops, this isn't going to work uh, properly because this user is not going to be created. Uh, I don't want to go into like user creation in this video coming up in a later video. So I'm just going to copy in some stuff that I've already got set up that, that does this for me. Um, and we'll just see very quickly what that is. Let's paste that bit in. Um, basically, we're just going to create off uh, the, the formatting's gone wrong there. So I've just tidied up that and I've just noticed as well it's going to try and install. Uh, it's just going to try and set up our shell to be Zush. So yeah. Um, probably not going to do that right there. So basically, it's just creating a pseudo group and making a user. So let's we've saved that. Let's make sure we saved it. And then loops, and then we'll just push this up to the server. So master. Yeah, I really got to get over that silly password thing asap. And then we can rerun our playbook, and we can see there that it's basically gone off and done exactly what we asked. So it's installed. Uh, git, htop, vim, etc., and the required shell. And then it's gone off and created our new user. It doesn't actually mention the fact that it's changed our shell for us. And then it's also created up these uh, directories. And we should be able to change into home, Chris. And we can see that we've got those directories all set up. And let's see, htop. So yeah, all good. 